Are you struggling to understand what DevOps really is? Don't worry, by end of this video, you will understand it clearly with real world example. So let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to this new video, DevOps for Beginners. DevOps is one of the most important terms in tech today. But what it actually mean? In this video, we'll break it in a simple way so you can understand what DevOps is and why it matters. Before DevOps, companies usually had two separate teams. One team was the development. They wrote the code and built features. Other team was operations. They took care of the servers and made sure everything ran smoothly. The problem is these teams don't really work together. They had different goals and rarely communicated. Let's imagine a restaurant. The chef cooks food and waiters delivers it to the customer. But what if chefs and waiters don't talk to each other? What happens? Order gets mixed up, food comes out late and end up with customer frustration. It is the same in softwares. When developers and operations don't collaborate, things slow down, mistakes happen, releases get struck, deployments fail, users don't get the best experience. DevOps came in to fix this. It's not just a tool, it's a culture shift. Instead of developers and operations working remotely, DevOps brings them together as one team. DevOps is a combination of development and operations. DevOps is a culture, a set of practices and a way of working that helps development and operations teams work together better. They share goals, communicate openly and help each other. DevOps also uses automation, which means letting computers do repetitive tasks like testing the code and releasing updates automatically. This saves a lot of time and reduces mistakes that can happen when people do these tasks by hand. In short, DevOps makes the whole process smoother, faster and more reliable by combining people, processes and technology. Let's understand DevOps lifecycle now. It's usually shown as an infinite loop because process keeps going in a continuous cycle. It starts with planning and coding the application. Then the code is built and tested to make sure it works properly. Next it releases and deploys for user to access. After that application is running in production and team monitors it to track performance and fix any issues. Finally, the team uses what they have learned to plan the next update and the cycle begins again. This ongoing loop is what allows modern application to get new feature, fixes and improvements so quickly, sometimes even every day. Let's talk about the tools. DevOps uses a lot of tools. Each one helps automate and improve a part of DevOps lifecycle. You don't need to learn them all at once, but it's good to know what they are used for. Git is a version control system used to track changes in code. It helps developers collaborate and maintain history of every changes made. GitLab is a platform where Git repositories are hosted. It allows teams to store code, manage and run CI/CD pipeline. Jenkins is a tool that automatically builds, tests and deploys code whenever changes are made. Next is infrastructure provisioning. These tools are used to create infrastructure using code. Terraform is open source and CloudFormation is AWS native. Next is Configuration Management. Configuration management tools are used to automate software installation and updates. Example Ansible, Chef, Puppet. Next one is Containerization. These tools are used to package the application and their dependencies into container so they can run the same way everywhere. Next is Container Orchestration. These tools are used for automate the deployment, scaling and manage the containers. Example Kubernetes. And the next one is Monitoring and Observability. These tools are used to monitor system health, application performance and resource usage. Example Prometheus, Grafana, Dynatrace. And the next one is Incident Management. These tools help manage incidents and keep systems running smoothly. Example ServiceNow. And the last one is 
cloud platforms where everything runs. DevOps relies heavily on the cloud to run applications, store data, and scale resources as needed. Example, AWS, Azure, GCP. These platforms of the tools are used for computing, storage, database, networking, and even these cloud platforms have DevOps built-in services. So, to sum it up, DevOps is a way of thinking. It helps teams to work together to build and deliver software faster and better. It's not just about tools. It's about people, teamwork, and using automation to make the whole process smoother. If you are new to tech, learning the basics of DevOps can really help you grow your skills and stand out. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, feel free to like, comment, or share it with someone who is trying to understand DevOps. Until next time, keep learning.